We're doing a play called The Life and Times of Mitchell and Kenyon, uh, which is all about the early filmographers, Segal Mitchell and James Kenyon. In 1897, they brought the cinematograph to Blackburn and they started filming real people, um, people leaving factory gates on their way out for lunch, people going to football matches, they started going to film people on the prom at Blackpool, um, people egg rolling in Preston and doing all kinds of different things. At that time, for people to see themselves or their friends on film was amazing. And people used to pay, they'd pay whatever it was, a penny, sixpence, to go along to the local hall or fairground. They inadvertently sort of documented these people's lives, these working class sort of people who otherwise would never have been filmed. And for various reasons the business came to an end and the films sort of disappeared um, and they sort of became a footnote in cinema history um, until the 1990s. In 1994 some workmen were working in Blackburn at number 40 Northgate and they discovered these metal churns which it turned out contained 800 films of Mitchell and Kenyon which people had thought had been lost up until that point. And so our show is about the discovery of those films but it's more importantly the story of Mitchell and Kenyon. I mean they are magical in and of themselves these films uh, and I think the story itself is also compelling, the story of how the films came to be made, the story of how they were lost and how they were found again. It's fantastic working with Amy because she's really open and it's a real ensemble feel because everybody can just chuck ideas in and we just play and that's how we kind of find in the style as we're going along. The setup of it is a musical style of show. So we have three showmen that come and introduce Mitchell and Kenyon and they tell their story. So it's the rise and fall of Mitchell and Kenyon, and then the rise again, because the films were found. Mitchell and Kenyon used to travel around to show their films. They used to travel around with the local sort of variety acts and um, uh, circus kind of fairground um, shows. That, that played into my hand with the music because that gave the reason, I think, for having songs, for, for having people sing, for having live music. So the whole style of the piece is very fast and fluid, very theatrical. Um, it doesn't apologise for its kind of theatricality. Um, it's got a real kind of music hall fairground style as well. Um, and so there's songs, there's showmen, um, we change location on a sixpence. You know, time's very fluid in it, we can move from one place to another. There are a company called Imitating the Dog is working with us and they will just shoot projections on which will kind of move on and then change so we can instantly be outside in the rain or at the seaside or we can be in the sky flying. Imitating the dog are master projectionists. And so when you combine you know, the projections with the music, with the films, with the, the whole style of the performance, it's, it's a real kind of spectacle. You can expect an absolutely rollicking good night out. Um, that's the aim, really, is that people just come along and have an absolute whale of a time. Thrills and spills, I hope, and a few laughs, some songs, uh, and a great story, I think, that moves along really quickly. There's everything in it. There's, I defy anybody to come and sit and not see something that they love in it. <laughs>